It's tragic, you try to cut yourself in half, but this ain't magic. In fact, it's something far more dark and more dramatic. Self-harm, that's what they call it, because it just affects you. It's your life, your body, so you can choose what you do. And if one day you can't rein it in, and of your last breath you are the only witness, then so be it, because it's your last breath, and it's nobody else's business. But how about your little sister? I mean, you think your life's been bad. And by no means am I belittling that, because I know the troubles you've had. But a teen finding out her big sister chose death over life. Finding out instead of turning to her with your problems, you turn to a knife. That's a whole lot of pain to deal with. And a whole lot of damage. And the only role model she has now is little more than words engraved in granite. But as you said before, this just affects you. It's your life, your body, so you can choose what you do. And if one day you can't rein it in, and of your last breath you are the only witness, then so be it, because it's your last breath, and it's nobody else's business. But then, how about your parents? God knows they've done all they can to support. Yeah, you didn't grow up in a mansion, but they gave you the best life they could afford. And the second that last bit of life trickles out and your lungs cease to breathe, they've failed the most important task that they will ever receive. They've failed to give their child a life that's worth living. And that's a failure that as long as they live of themselves is unforgiving. But as you said before, this just affects you. It's your life, your body, so you can choose what you do. And if one day you can't rein it in, and of your last breath you are the only witness, then so be it, because it's your last breath, and it's nobody else's business. But how about your friends? How did they fail to see this coming? I mean, you can only hold so much pain, and recently it seems like the tap's been left running. Families grow distant, but it's meant to be your friends you can rely on. They shouldn't just be there for fun and drinks. They should be the shoulder to cry on. They should be the ones you turn to when you can't talk to your family. But they've felt too, because although you didn't ask for it, their support should have been mandatory. But as you said before, this just affects you. It's your life, your body, so you can choose what you do. And if one day you can't rein it in, and of your last breath you are the only witness, then so be it, because it's your last breath, and it's nobody else's business. But then, what about me? What kind of boyfriend am I? Instead of living a life I was a big part of, you would rather die. Instead of fighting through together, and turning things around, you decided the grass was greener on the other side of the ground. Of our shared lives, there was nothing worth living for as far as you could see. So if that's the case for you, then what is there left in this life for me? But as you said before, this just affects you. It's your life, your body, your sister, your parents, your friends and your partner. So you can choose what you do. And if one day you can't rein it in, and of your last breath you are the only witness, then fuck everybody else, because that ain't something that you've got to live with. The magician's assistant. Too many problems to listen. Not enough people to listen. The magician's assistant. Yeah, 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 yeah